Hey friends, Deacon King back for another video. This one's about St. Francis de Sales, doctor and bishop of the church. Quick overview of his life. He lived in the 15 and 1600s. He was originally from France, but he was ordained a priest for the Diocese of Geneva, Switzerland. Then he eventually became a bishop in Geneva, Switzerland in 1602. He led thousands of Protestants back to the faith due to his writings, which we'll speak of in a moment in the book called The Catholic Controversy. He was also known as a very gentle soul. In addition to his zeal for souls, he himself was very meek. He had this strong tendency to anger due to his temperament, his natural temperament of being a choleric. But he was famous for being very gentle. And so we can see that through God's grace, he overcame and he worked to overcome his natural tendency. In the Catholic controversy, we can see his different arguments about Protestantism and why the Catholic faith was the one true faith, even though there were so many people in his time challenging the truths of the faith. He lived in that period, of course, after Martin Luther and so after some people had fallen away from the church. And in Switzerland in particular, there was a large Calvinist population. So a lot of Catholics had fallen away, become followers of John Calvin. And one of the great arguments from this book is his defense of the office of St. Peter, the Petrine office of the Pope. And he, one of those arguments that he used that really stuck out to me was at the end of St. John's Gospel when Jesus is speaking to St. Peter, and he said, Peter, feed my sheep. He challenges St. Peter with this great command to guide the flock, to feed the whole church. And St. Francis remarks that Jesus spoke in such a way as if St. Peter was a leader, as if he were actually the Pope. And he spoke because he was the Pope, because Jesus wanted him to be the Pope and to be this leader, guiding the flock with this great care, this great authority to serve them in such a way. And so he used Scripture. We can see St. Francis used Scripture in this work to be able to discuss it with the Protestants, because we know Protestants believe in Sola Scriptura. That was Martin Luther's great argument, his great philosophy, was you can find everything in the Bible, and the Bible is our only source to religion, our only way to uh, find truth. And so St. Francis argued very well, he knew his audience, and so he used the Bible heavily in this book, in his arguments. Introduction to the Vout Life is probably his most popular work. I highly recommend it for people in all stages of spirituality, but especially for those who are beginners. It helps introduce people into not only the spirituality of St. Francis de Sales, but also Catholic spirituality. Because he speaks of the sacraments, for instance. He speaks of how to have fruitful participation in the sacraments. With Holy Communion, for instance, he says, not only prepare before you receive the morning of, but also he recommends to prepare the night before. That way, before you go to bed, you're even preparing, considering what great act you will partake in the next day, partake in the Mass, but also to partake in receiving Holy Communion. St. Francis, at the beginning of this work, provides several meditations. His meditations are to help the soul purge purge itself from mortal sin, from venial sin, and to begin the devout life, this life of following Jesus Christ. This book also shows forth the universal call to holiness, this teaching reiterated by the Second Vatican Council, in which people of all stages in life, all states in life, are called to holiness. No matter how old you are, no matter what your job is, your vocation, all people are called to holiness. And so St. Francis helps 
to foster this in his writings and in his advice. This book originally written to one of his spiritual daughters and he, he gave her a bunch of advice and then she compiled all this advice to make Introduction to the Devout Life. Roses Among Thorns is also a compilation of letters written by St. Francis de Sales. It's about prayer. When he was trained to be a priest, he was trained by the Jesuits. And so he used a lot of the language of consolation and desolation. And that's part of this book. It's a, it's a, a theme that we can see in this book. He also uses different analogies from nature throughout all of his writings. But in particular, this one, something that really sticks out is when he speaks of consolation and desolation in terms of the seasons of the, the year. That he says, we're not always going to be in consolation. Prayer is not always going to be easy. It's not always going to be summertime and springtime. But sometimes you have to go through the fall and the winter in our prayer. And prayer can be difficult. And so you go through a period of desolation. Another aspect of Salesian spirituality, the spirituality of St. Francis de Sales, is recognizing the Lord's love and considering his love by considering his passion. In this book, he recommends meditation on the Lord's passion as a daily meditation, something that can be done just for a few moments, a few minutes outside of one's main meditation for the day, be done in the evening after dinner on a walk. Some of his sermons that he preached have also been compiled into four different volumes. And the ones on Lent in particular I found to be very powerful. And I would strongly recommend those as a Lenten exercise to read through those and to consider his words on the different gospel stories that the church provides for us in the lectionary during Lent. One in particular is on the healing of St. Peter's mother-in-law. He speaks of how she wanted to be healed but she was patient in her, in her struggle, in her sickness. That when she had a fever, she didn't beg the Lord ceaselessly to heal her, but she embraced that cross, and then the Lord healed her in his own time. He also wrote ones on Advent and Christmas, and on prayer, and on the Blessed Virgin Mary. God is probably his most profound work, very beautifully written, and he provides deep meditations on the love of God. One in particular is on God's providence, that he says, when we struggle in life, we should never forget the great love that God poured out for us, that when we think that God is distant, or that he doesn't care for us, then we should consider that he actually does through his working of salvation, through Jesus dying on the cross. And this work is very long, full of many considerations, but they're very beautifully written, and so they, they can really draw you in to these deep considerations that he provides. This is called his most profound work by Pope Pius XI, who he wrote an encyclical about St. Francis de Sales. Pius XI, um, being our Holy Father in the early 20th century, wrote an encyclical about not only his writings, but also his sanctity. He was the one who wrote about his um, St. Francis' temperament and how he had this tendency to anger, but how he overcame that and struggled with this, but through God's grace, he, he became a very meek individual and a great bishop. So I hope this overview is very helpful, but it doesn't scratch the surface at all. There's much more you can say about St. Francis de Sales, about how he founded the Visitation Order of Nuns with St. Francis de, uh, de Chantal. But I just wanted to provide this overview of some of his works because he's a very helpful saint for our time. May God bless you all.